Hey guys, so today we're going to be going through Microsoft Clarity and why I think it's the best screen recording and heat map tool out there. Um, so what is Microsoft Clarity? Let's first start with that. It's a free behavioral analytics tool that helps you understand how users interact on your site. Basically, heat maps and screen recordings, and that shows you videos and screenshots of where people are clicking and where people are going on your website, which is super useful information to know. Um, so there's four main areas. There's dashboard, there's screen recordings, heat maps, and there's filters. So let me show you those four parts. So the dashboard is actually really useful. Um, it shows you some key metrics up on your site, which you'll be able to see on Shopify already, uh, but it shows you some other really interesting things. When I uh, like to look at this, I like to come down to this section down here. This shows me the page speed, which is really useful, so I don't need to go to you know Google page speed to go and see this metric here. Um, the other interesting thing is events, so it shows you how many people are logging in, signing up, any of these other events in your store. So for you guys, that will be add adding to cart, uh, email signups, that sort of thing. And it shows you some other uh, really useful metrics inside this dashboard. Another big one is rate clicks, dead clicks. So when you're trying to look at screen recordings, a lot of screen recordings you'll try to look out for are rate clicks and dead clicks, uh, because that means there's usually an issue with the site usually. So having this dashboard here showing you what percentage, that's the metric that you can work on and see if you can reduce uh, over time as you're optimizing the website. So next part we're going to touch on is screen recording. So with screen recordings, this is fairly straightforward. I'm making a video of this in the future, uh, but this just allows you to click on this and it'll show you a video player and it'll show you how the customer uh, behaved on the site. So it looks like this person started off on the Microsoft Clarity homepage. Maybe they scrolled down, maybe they didn't. So it didn't really do much, but that's a really short clip. You can see here we've got ones that are even shorter uh, and ones that are you know a minute long, one minute long, okay? And then the next thing is heat maps. Inside of heat maps, let's click onto the homepage and uh, it will show you where people are clicking, which buttons people are clicking on the homepage, which is so, so useful to know uh, as an e-commerce store owner. You wanna know where people are getting their attention. So one thing is this uh, image on the right seems to be getting kind of a lot of clicks. You can see it's 19th place, so it's not the most important. Let me see if I have the homepage open somewhere. Um, I don't, but Maybe it's something they might want to work on is having this image either clickable or open a model because it seems like there's a lot of uh, traction going over there. And then you can see people are clicking on the text, maybe copying it, that sort of thing. Okay, and then the last part is filters. And actually you've been on the screen the whole time. It's this little top bar you see up here, right? So inside of filters, you can open this up and it'll show you this model and give you a ton of different things uh, that you can look at. Um, when you're trying to analyze the site and see what's working and what's not working, that sort of thing. So, um, for example, if you want to look at country, so if your store is based in the US, you probably want to filter by US visitors so you don't get any random bits of traffic who maybe aren't, aren't even purchasing from your store. Another one I like to look at, as I mentioned, is rage clicks, dead clicks over here. Intention is a really good one. So this almost filter out those three second, 10 second, 30 second, uh, you know, sessions that aren't really that useful when you're trying to do a screen recording session. So make sure you have this turned to medium or high, um, usually. And then device over here, categories, make sure you're looking at mobile as well as desktop, separating the two out. It's also really useful to know. Uh, time frame, of course. So if you're looking at a certain time frame, um, or trying to understand, maybe you've been running a sale on your store, maybe you had a new product launch and you want to backdate and see what happened in a certain bit period of time, having this is super useful. So um, yeah, those are the four main areas of Microsoft Clients you use, so the dashboard, screen recordings, heat maps, uh, and filters as well. So let's have a look at how we set this up. So I'm on the homepage, and this is the first thing you're gonna do, go to the description, copy this link, paste it in, and you'll end up in a page that looks something like this, and you basically just wanna sign up. Uh, but just before we do that, I'm going to take a look at the pricing. It is completely free and free forever, and I think this is what makes it so good. Um, there are the only other alternative I'll compare it to is Hotjar, uh, but I think the functionality that you get for free here is so much better than some of the paid stuff uh, in Hotjar, which is the reason I use it. I just think it's way better uh, in terms of functionality. And you can see all the features that you get here, and it comes talks a little bit about the privacy, but we'll get to that at the end of this video. Uh, so, uh, next thing is signing up. Once you've signed up, you'll end up on the screen that looks like this. I've just blurred this out. Um, but then you want to click new project at the top. I just made one. I called it test. And then you want to put your website URL inside of here. For industry, you can just select retail, something like this. And then it's going to take you to a screen that looks like this. So, almost set up. The main thing you want to do is install your tracking code. 
So go over to here where it says install manually, press get tracking code. It's going to show you a code that looks very familiar. You're seeing this shape of code for your Facebook pixels and your hot jars or whatever it is. Copy it to clipboard. Then we're going to go to over to Shopify, go to our theme section, click edit code. And we want to add this inside of our theme.liquid file. So you can see it's already got it open for me, but if it's not, go to layout theme.liquid. And you probably just want to paste it somewhere at the top. Um, so I'm just going to paste it right under this script I've got over here. See if I've indented it right. And then hit save, right? So once I've done that, it's going to add it to my um, site. Um, and then anyone who comes onto the site uh, will be uh, shown inside of my analytics. So that's that done. Uh, once you're finished with that, then you go over to settings and there's a few other things you want to set up. They've got this really useful clarity tool, which shows you a breakdown of some of the things you want to look at. So I've done some of these already, uh, but the first thing is connecting it to Google Analytics. So you probably have Google Analytics set up for your store. So pre press this guest start ad button and then you can add Google Analytics and it will just integrate both of them, which is really cool. Uh, the next one is adding team members to your project. That one's really simple. Click inside of it, add an email and then they'll get access to this account. Uh, IP blocking is a good one as well. So sometimes you'll visit your own website and then sometimes you'll catch yourself on a screen recording, depending how often you visit your own site to check things, whatever, right? Uh, so you press this block IP address and then press block my own IP. Uh, so that's going to block your IP address uh, so you don't see sessions from your own thing. I'd recommend anyone you added account to do this as well. Uh, that's a small thing. Clarity masking. So this relates a little bit to the privacy stuff we're going to touch on at the end. Uh, but it depends where you are in the world, really. If you're in the US, you can probably have this relaxed um, so you don't mask anything um, because there's not really much privacy stuff. But in the UK uh, or EU, you probably want to have this balance. And then if you guys are big on privacy or you have something really sensitive, you probably want to go strict mode. But balance is probably okay for most people. Uh, then the next one is check out the um, Clarity demo. So this just shows you the demo that I was showing you guys at the start. So nothing special there. Um, add site disclosure and policies. We'll come to that at the end with privacy. Uh, and then the next thing is just check out their blog. So this is going to take you to the Microsoft Clarity blog and it'll show you uh, a few different pointers and tips and tricks. The only other two things I'd recommend here is once you set up, they've got this AI thing called Copilot. Um, it's not that great yet, but it's a start. Um, so once you've got data in here after, you know, 14 days sort of thing, uh, you can come here and ask it for insights based on the data on your uh, website. So everything that you have in Clarity is going to use this AI tool to just make some uh, analysis points for you to uh, get in. And you literally don't have to do anything. So I think that's really useful. Uh, the other thing is integrations down here. So if you have your A-B testing tool, you can see the Shopify over here. You can try and connect these two together. Um, that's just going to give you even more powerful, reliable data as well. Okay, so let's talk about uh, privacy now. So in terms of privacy, uh, they recommend that you do, um, you add in a uh, site disclosure. Now, I would recommend this too. Uh, wherever you are, US, uh, EU, whatever, I would recommend in your privacy policy, add in a paragraph that looks either like this. So you can use this one up here or you can use this one up here. So you, or you can use combination of both. Uh, I've got both of these in my Figma here. So yeah, they both just say, we use Microsoft Clarity. They use it to improve the website, look at the privacy policy and wording, whatever it is, right? Um, now, the debate here is about who owns your data and who uh, you know uses your data and what they use it for and all of this stuff. Um, my personal opinion is that whatever you're using, they're going to use your data. If that's something you're worried about, then I think um, <laughs> 2025 is probably a scary time for you. Um, if that's what you're worried about, I think whatever software you're using, they're definitely using your data, at least to improve their own tool. Um, and they say they won't sell your data, but they, yeah, you know how these things go. Um, so that's my personal take on things. Uh, Hotjar, I have this article saying, you know, they'll never sell your data and stuff like this. Um, and of course, Microsoft Clarity on their homepage, if I go and pull it up, actually, I've got a screenshot over here. So they say, why is it free? Great question. Um, and they say they use it to improve their own products and services. And at the bottom, we will never share your data with third parties. So they're both kind of saying the same thing, big companies, whatever you want to make 
your own decision. I'll leave that up to you. Uh, but in terms of which one is more powerful and which one is better for screen recordings, heat maps, it's absolutely Microsoft Clarity for me. Uh, so that's my take on this. So I hope this video is useful. Uh, Microsoft Clarity is really, really good um, for having uh, data um, on um, your website performance analytics, analytics. So hopefully this is something you should uh, install on your site and hopefully this video has been useful. Bye.